little bit about both teams. We're going to start off with Coventry Alves, the visitors. Uh, they play in the Midlands League Division 2. That's one of the 11th tier uh, of English football. Uh, they were relegated just a couple of years ago after an unsuccessful season in the Midlands League Division 1 where cops would play their football and have done for quite a while now. So, um, yeah, this is a little bit of a local derby. Coventry Alves are probably about the fourth biggest non-league team in Coventry. So uh, they're up against Copswood today. Hopefully it's not a repeat of what we saw on Saturday. But, um, yeah, not going to do a score prediction. Like, I haven't done a score prediction all season because my predictions are never right. Uh, but I hope for a good game. I hope for a goal or two, or maybe even three. You never know. There we go, we got kick off. So a clear foul by the Elvis midfielder. Took a leg out, it's way too much. And the uh, cops were playing a trip over. Dan Smith is taken. go one nil Coventry Alvis about 15 minutes in I mean it's, it's a goal isn't it um, probably undeserved to be fair they've defended quite well but I'd say Cops would have had more of the chances it's a good ball it was obviously switched from the middle out to the left hand side and another good ball into the forward one nil to the visitors now yeah quite a dangerous free kick for Coventry Alvis didn't actually see what happened but just outside the box There we go, Coventry Cops would equalise. Good header in from a corner on the left hand side. It's starting to rain now. Just, yeah, I've been saying that for the past 10 minutes, so. I'm gonna go stand under a tree. Mm. Half time, Coventry Cops would won, Coventry Alvis won. Started okay. I thought Coventry Cops were probably the better team uh, leading up to Coventry Alves taking the lead. Cops were came in a little bit better. And then, yeah, after that, nothing really has happened since the equaliser. Hoping for a better second half, but it's been a, a lot better half of football than what we saw on Saturday. Cops were probably the stronger team, I'd say. Yeah, 1-1 one, one at half time. And the boys are out for the second half. good chance there for Coventry Alves probably about 60 minutes in um, good pass to the forward puts the ball through the defenders legs just wider the goal yeah still one all here I think Alves probably have been the better team in the first say 15 minutes of the second half I don't think either team have really done much but one chance is probably the only uh, notable one anyway So I said that really poor defending there from Coventry Alvis. Really good for the uh, Cotswood midfielder to have kept the ball in there, sliding in, keeps the ball in, plays the ball into the box, and the forward hits it into an empty net. 2 1 to Cotswood. Look 
how close that was. I always play as cooler for a penalty, but the ref made the correct decision. Free kick. Just sat down for a minute. Um, thoughts on that so far? I think Elvis are playing really, really strong. They've got some decent players this season and uh, have really given Cotswood a good game. Defensively, Cotswood have been really good and done quite well to stay in the game. Still 2-1 to Cotswood. I think the goalkeeper for Cotswood, Dale O'Donnell, has had a lot to deal with. Uh, but he's done quite well. So I think another goal for Cotswood could pretty much seal it, but it, it could still go either way. Elvis, attacking wise uh, especially their player who looks like he's playing at a left forward, is doing really, really well. Very quick, uh, good on the ball. And their passing as well uh, has been brilliant, Coventry Elvis. So I think they'll definitely compete in the league if they're playing like this this season. Um, Coventry Cotswood, they've been out, as I said, they've been quite good. Um, so still could go either way. Uh, 2 1 2 Cotswood still at the drinks break. <laughs> This is exactly what I mean by Elvis. Quickly coming forward. Players might be a bit annoyed with that. I think he was just offside from what I can see from my footage. I have slowed it down about 10 times. There's probably an argument between the, the referee and the players for the past five minutes, but he did look offside. I don't know. If it is clear enough, I don't know. It's good work from the lino at the same time, but still 2 1 2 Cotswood. Uh, been to two games here this season, seen the same amount of offside goals and have allowed goals, which isn't good. Well, Cops would have gone down to 10 men, second yellow card for one of their midfielders. Um, so it looks like Alves having the one-man advantage for probably the last five, 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, it's just for a second bookable offence. So it wasn't even that bad of a challenge, to be honest. I thought when the ref put his card up, it was for the Alves player. But uh, yeah, Cops would now down to 10 men. Full time, Coventry Cops with two, Coventry Alves one. Um, another disallowed goal today, but uh, at least there was some goals. I thought Coventry Alves played really, really well. I thought they're coming forward, they were probably the better team just defensively and how they played football. Cops would be the team that should have won the game. It's enough just yet. Um, just going to talk a little bit about the game just before. I go. Um, yeah, good win for Copswood. I thought Alvis coming forward looked really good. They've got quite a few good players this year. Um, and playing in the Midlands League Division 2, I think they've got a good chance of promotion. Obviously, there's a couple of good teams in that league. Um, I've obviously, I've seen Fairfield Villa this season already, as well as FC Stratford, who were the team that played Copswood back on Saturday. So it's a good result for Coventry Copswood. We'll be down here on Saturday. Uh, for the game against Northfield Town. Obviously, City are playing Swindon. And I know I probably should watch that game, but I'd rather come and watch a match than watch a game on the telly. I think that's just the way I've always been. Uh, so I'll be coming down for Saturday's game, Copsford versus Northfield Town. 
and um, by the looks of things I probably will be coming to all the Cotsford friendlies or at least every game uh, until City are back so if they're saying they're going to allow fans to to games when the league season starts um, before City I probably will be coming to all the Cotsford games to film then so that's what I'm probably going to be doing please like subscribe to this channel if you're new and I'll see you guys in a bit goodbye